Hi world, this is the second video of today. It's about 10.35, it's the 1st of March 2017 and this is the second video I'm doing on the Midheaven. The first video was on work and career in its connection with the ruler of a 10th house. Uh, the second video to this one is about the Midheaven in terms of public image. Now I want to differentiate between the Midheaven and the Ascendant. The Ascendant or the rising sign is the part of the sun's orbit that is coming up on the eastern horizon at the time of your birth. The descendant is the one that's on the set on the um, on the on the setting on the western part of the, in the west on the sun's orbit as the time of your birth. The midheaven is the highest point of the sun's orbit at the time of your birth, the middle of the heavens. Therefore, it's the most visible point of the horoscope. It's the highest point of the chart. It's that point there. So it deals with um, public image. The ascendant is the way, is the armour you put on as you go outside the front door. It's not the way you're seen as being, it's the way you are in the outside world. The midheaven is the way you deliberately project yourself into and onto the outside world as, be, as being. It is directly connected with profile, status, visibility, prominence, public image. It is the way you go out, of, it is the way you deliberately try and market, sell and advertise and project yourself into and onto the outside world. Now the sign on the midheaven goes a long way to describing how one projects oneself into and onto the outside world. For example, giving a, a rough and non-specific, please don't pull me up on this one, guide to the signs on the midheaven in terms of public image. Aries midheaven people often have um, high rounded eye sockets with like the, the eyebrow shape or the, the shape of the upper eye is often curved like the goat's horns, often rounded. And if you see a lot of people around you with these, these particular eye shapes, then yes, they've got Aries midheaven most commonly. Taurus midheaven people, um, you can often recognise these people because they're the ones who have solid necks and shoulders, very bull-like, and are quite, they often jut their head forward, strong chins, and they come across as, don't mess with me, I'm solid. Gemini Midheaven people will often, but not always, have long necks to accommodate those slippery tongues, and they're not slow about coming forward verbally. Um, yours truly has a Gemini Midheaven, I don't have a long neck, but I'm good at talking. Cancer Midheaven people are the ones uh, often confused with Cancer on the Ascendant, but Cancer on the Midheaven often have round faces uh, representative of the full moon. And, and when you see someone with quite a round face, probably Cancer Midheaven. Leo Midheaven, well, easy to see. They're the ones who just got a big, wide open eyes looking out into the world, often long, flowing, big hair. They got, they got status, they got prominence. They come across as someone who's well, I'm the best, and it's hard to be modest when you know you're the best, Leo Midheaven. Whereas Virgo Midheaven aren't too bothered about what they look like, as long as they look clean and tidy and presentable, and they come across as effective and efficient. Libra Midheaven people often, but not always, have a line running horizontally on the chin here, or a line here vertically on the point of the chin, um, because this represents the imbalance, but also the two-sidedness of these people. Often quite fair of face, well-proportioned faces. Scorpio midheaven are the ones who have the deep set, often quite dark eyes that can stare right through you. Sagittarius midheaven often have that wide-eyed, innocent look, a bit naive uh, on the surface, and they go, who, me? Could I? Oh, you couldn't possibly think that of me. Uh, they get away with a lot of things by coming across as being naive and innocent, uh, often got a very loud laugh, and they're quick to humour, quick to smile. Capricorn Midheaven are the opposite. They come, they're not always like this, but they come across as being a bit dour, often with quite intense foreheads and deep set eyes that gives the impression of frowning even when they're not. St a strong look of concentration and attention. Aquarius Midheaven will often have uh, almond-shaped eyes, oriental-like eyes, uh, because uh, it, it, one quarter of the eye socket will be straight, not curved. And this is a phenomenon that's particularly acute to Aquarius Midheaven and Aquarius Moon. 
Whereas Pisces Midheaven people I have those really big, wide, fish-like eyes that just take in all the world and it's almost like the eyes are like a shield. The sign on the Midheaven goes a long way towards the way one projects oneself out into the outside world as being and the way that one is seen as being at first glance. It is public image. It is the way you are taken at first meeting. Once they get to know you a little bit at the daily level, then we're talking about your ascendant. Once they get to know you more at a much deeper level, then we're talking about the moon because that deals with feelings and emotions. And then if they get to know you over a period of years, they get to know your real identity as symbolised by the sun. But with the Midheaven, public image. The next videos will look at the Midheaven in terms of both authority and nurturing. Mummy and Daddy. Later, world.